Okay, here's my van. I didn't want to do a huge amount of renovation in case, you know, we don't end up doing this. But here's the front. And I have a 12-volt refrigerator inside. And it fits right in there. And it plugs in here. And it only pulls, I think, 1.4 amps. Anything that's cooling, I found, does not pull very much. It's the stuff that heats pulls a lot of wattage. Okay, so um, that's my screen. Uh, package of screen, 895. Uh, something like four feet by something like 114 inches. Um, and they send you a, a razor knife with it and a measuring tape. So what I'm going to do is loop it over these and make sort of a screen pillowcase. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or if I'm gonna save it for the back, but here, um, this is our portable ramp right now because we don't have the under the van lift fix that I ran over a curb with last year. So here we go, it's my son Jack. He's ready to go out and go do some stuff. Now, over here I have a flash fish and this is a conversion van so it has cigarette lighter in there and over there so I have the DVD player and I got it really cheap off uh, marketplace because it doesn't charge and that's specifically what I wanted because I don't have to turn it off and on all the time it just comes on when the van is on uh, I do have a 12 volt in here with the flash fish i can plug it into that and also have one all the way in the back of the van but it's behind everything okay so christmas lights um pull almost no wattage but i need to probably put them up there a little better uh and i have them plugged into there and i just the plug in the switch in the back of the flash fish on the flash fish is for battery power so i just turned that on and i left it on for hours and hours yesterday and it did not touch the battery so here we go i don't want to really show you the dvd player but when we're driving the i don't want copyright infringement and stuff but i had a couple tvs up there and i kept hitting them so i'm looking for another one but for now, this works perfectly fine because when we travel, we also have the tablet and the Chromebook. Um, and we'll have power so I can grab Jack's TV off the wall and bring it and um, put it up right here. I have a piece of wood that I'm going to put on a hinge right here. And it will fold up into there and be just have a cord hanging you know and um, that way when we're in bed or laying on the bed it'll fold down and it will have a small table I also have two pieces of wood with hinges that are going to go on the top of each door so that when we're stopped I will have to take the ramp because normally it's standing up about this high I'll just flip it and lay it on its side. That's no big deal. I've done it inside all the time. And then I'll have two drop-down shelves. And once they're both dropped, it makes a whole table all the way across. And it's about 10 inches, which is perfectly fine. That's enough we need. There is a fire extinguisher in there. Now, um, because I'm pushing the wheelchair on this... Um, this is one quarter OSB and it is perfectly fine. Uh, there's no smell from the carpeting or anything like that. And um, it's very lightweight. If I have to, it's not secured to anything because you don't need it to be. Um, it's under the wheelchair, which is secured by the strains, Q strains. If I have to, I can just pull this thing right out. Um, I went to, to Lowe's. They brought it out to me, I put it in the back of the van, drove to the other end of the parking lot, took it outside and bent it and kicked it with my foot and it fit 
and the other piece is under here. And then when I got home, I took my jigsaw and kind of cleaned it up a little, but you don't have to. Um, it breaks easily enough that you can do that yourself uh, by hand if you want to. And nobody's going to see what's under the bed. So I can't have cabinets. Um, so because I've got to negotiate this. So what I'm think what I did was shoe bags. This was four bucks, I think, at Dollar General, and these I think were three dollars. This was one at three at Goodwill, and I just cut it in half and put it up here. I do have curtains. These are poster board right now. I do have curtains. I just haven't put them up yet, and they're going to be attached under here with probably bungee cords onto um, like screws and that are under there. So. What I'm thinking for up here is if I can get these off, and I'm having a difficult time getting these off. They're supposed to push in and twist. Unfortunately, there's also a bracket in each one, and I can't get in there with the socket, um, the socket wrench, and the pliers aren't working. So once I get those off, the wheelchair will fit right in the middle, and the refrigerator will be on the seat. And um, then I will have this entire area, this whole entire middle part, um, which is about four by five. So it's a lot of space and I can walk around in it. I have an anti-gravity lawn chair that goes right there and fits right in there behind everything. Uh, and I can still open that door and put groceries and waters and stuff in there. Um, and that goes right in the middle. I used it recently when we were up in Raleigh, or near Raleigh, uh, and that's for me to sit on. And I can idle this van, uh, with the AC on, and as long as I'm in the shade, it doesn't hurt it at all, it doesn't heat up, nothing, and the AC works. So what's under here is two bins, and then in the middle, I've got things like formula, and in the back, there are these organizers. There's a four cube organizer and another thing like it. And what I did was lay them down so the openings are up. And I put, um, I just filled them. And I had some of those dollar store uh, organizer cubes. And then some of them I didn't. So it doesn't matter. They're not coming. The whole thing isn't coming out. You can use cardboard boxes. You can use bags, anything. Uh, and some of them I have nothing just to have um, like the grill and cooking accessories one has a whole bunch of waters and sodas a whole bunch and um, the water hose because it's all water drink related wet related and then there's one over here that has um, cans and dry food and dishes uh, which is in a a zippered thing all by itself 